So the new microwave's here, and we're going to put it in the truck. Well, actually, we've already put it in the truck, and it works. More after that, or this, coming up right after this. Or that. One of the two. Who knows? And I'm Jim, and welcome to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country with us, and you don't even have to leave a turkey roaster at the house. So while you're basting away... Wow. Don't forget to like this video, hit that little subscribe button, and make sure you click on that little notification Ring. bell so you don't miss a Ring. thing. Ring. Turkey. Ding, ding. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so our microwave came, delivered courtesy of... FedEx. So, uh, obviously not custom critical though. No, obviously <laughs> not. So anyway, I'm going to cut this apart and see if it at least looks something like what we were expecting. And then we'll take it up in the truck. Oh. It's like Christmas early. Christmas early. All right. So it looks like it. It's supposed to be the trim kit. I think now I'm going to have to cut this box apart to get this one out. So. One corner. Get in there. You got the nicest tool, tool in the shed, right? Yeah, the sharpest one. Sharpest one in the shed. Uh, right. Safety first, kids. Let me know if you need me to pull something. <laughs> nah, I think I got it here. Okay. And that is the trim kit for that. Put that there. Microwave itself. You like our prop, our cooler? Yeah. <laughs> something to set it up on. Let's make it easier. Alrighty, so hopefully I can get this out of here. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let's just drop it first thing when we get it. I did not drop it. Damage control. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Microwave. Voila, boxes. Luckily, we have a recycling center nearby. Yes, that takes everything. It's awesome, except for that styrofoam. It won't take so, that. This is what we got. Does it come with a little rack inside? Yes, it does. Complete with a rack and turntable, obviously. And turntable. Okay, well, we're going to put this in a truck. And get it moving so we can get rolling, because we've yeah. got to get going. Yeah, we've got to go to uh, Minnesota tonight. So Minnesota. I cannot do that accent. All right, so. So yeah, hi Judy. Hi Jim. Yeah, we Long got- Long time no see. Yeah, we got the microwave in. So that's the new one. Well, that's the old one. So Are first- Are they the same? Let's look. I think they're close. They're close enough. So we're gonna take off our little Donate Life sticker. So, so put it on our other- As you know, we're big with the Donate Life stuff. I'll link a video right up here somewhere. So, all, all right, so now door. the star of the show. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna take this out real quick. Hopefully. If not, it'll be just another time-lapsed video. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> and you take it off, out of the screws. How many we got, six? Six. And I'm thinking I'm gonna reuse this trim kit. Oh, then it, it came with one, but I'm going to reuse this one because I know my holes line up. Oh, then you don't have to worry about it. Right. If it all fits in there nicely, like it should, right? Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and set it right here on the counter. So set it right there on the counter. Right there on the counter. Be careful. This is the last time I said, do you need any help? 
Yeah. And he's figured it out how to do it. All right, is that cord on top of that? Uh, yep, it was. Now it's not. All right, so there we go. That looks like that. So let's take that. these side pieces out here. We're hoping it's going to fit with the other one. Uh, four of these. Did he yet, anybody? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, so pull that off. Voila. Put that right there. Here's just the screws for those. So what I'm going to do is take this, and set it right there. All or right. actually, I'm going to take oh. this and set it in the front seat. Okay, then I'm just so going to get the back. So I need you to come back here. Yeah. I'll just get your back in. Thank you. Your best side, right? <laughs> Not even nice. <laughs> okay, so. Gotta be nice everyone. Now I'm gonna have to move again. Musical chairs. The beauty of being in a confined space, trying to do a video. Now, this will tell the story. <laughs> We if may have to fits, go out and get the other trim kit. And it may be a fits, longer video, a really long video. It should be good. I think this is all the same. Look at there. Looky there. Fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. It fits like a glove that fits, not like a glove that doesn't fit. Something like that. So let's put these back on here. Might be a short video, folks. <laughs> That'd be nice. We got to make sure it works, too. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a tragedy. Get all of our presents that come in there inside. Let's hope it's a short video. That'd be nice. What's that? I said, let's hope it's a short video. Because then that means everything was working right. Yeah. Once we can cut. Wait a second. All right. Really? Well, I was trying to see. You can't really see what you're doing. Just trying to get what you're doing. Well, I am trying. Put these screws in here. So. Alrighty. So that's together. Okay, let me show the now. side here. This is the... Uh, As he turns it while I'm trying to show you where those screws were. This is the interesting part. Because... How do you plug it in yes. while you're putting it in? Because this cable is not that long. The electrical cord on these is not that long. So... So I may have to stop, stop and hold it while you're plugging it in. Yeah, that has to be plugged in. in while I'm holding it up. So we're going to have to set that down. Set my camera down. Pause it for a moment. Pause it for a moment. So you might see it up there by the time we're done. Yes. We, we don't have a third video person who can video us. You don't have trying a cameraman, to do it. so yeah. All right. Hold on. We'll see you in a bit. Looky there, everybody. Yeah, we managed to do it. It wasn't too hard. Just had to hold it up there for a little bit. So now I'm going to go through and put my trim kit screws back in. And we will be ready to go. I know, so exciting. I know. Watch, let's watch the screws. Go back into the trim kit. They go up, they go in, they go up, they go in. So. Oh, did I hear you whisper magnetic bits are awesome? Yes, they are. <laughs> Alrighty. So, that wasn't too hard. Not too bad at all. And, make sure these are tight. This is really don't want any things. rattling around. No, we don't. Which I think 
we found going down the road. It jiggled right. a little bit. The other one did. So there we go. Oh, what's inside? Let's oh, see what we're going to unwrap on the inside. Presents. Got an owner's manual. Oh, look. Something that hasn't been used. And it's all nice, cranny, and shiny on the inside. Yeah. Owner's manual. Don't need that, obviously. So. Oh, look. Manual. We got a rack. Woohoo! Yeah, we had a rack in the other one, but it broke. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what happened to it. I think... What we happened had to it, it out and we sat on it or something? Uh, I don't know. It was during the manufacturing process and it was made cheaply. Oh. See? Nice shiny rack. Woohoo! That's... That, 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 that. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. And then have a turntable. Woohoo! And a nice styrofoam packed thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that little part in there. Let's see. I'll put the little... Okay. Now the real thing is, is it going to work? Well, so, let's hope so. Guess I'll have to make me some tea. You gonna make you some tea? Is that what you got? I you got in store for the first first thing? I know it's exciting. Some hot tea. Hot tea. So, okay, gotta so put that little thing up. That little thing. Directional. So we get this in here. Just like so. That's nice. Very nice. And shall we say that metal thing right there, I don't believe can be used on the microwave. Anything. No, I don't yeah. believe it can. This I've never only... tried it, but I don't. It's well, it might be a those... light. You might have a light show. Yeah, we could go. <laughs> so that would be an exciting drama video, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. So we're taking off that little sticker. I think we will. And without ripping it off. It came right on. Voila. Look at that. Because we like to be able to see what's going on inside. And replacement of the Donate Life Supporter sticker. Probably get that dog crooked and it'll just drive me crazy for the rest of the time we're in the truck. Well, it comes off and it goes back on. Nope. <laughs> Obviously, or else it wouldn't be there. It's just a window clean. All right, there we go. Uh, so if you'll hand me that cup of right there. Oh, he's making me try to do two things at once, folks. It's a little hard, and your handy dandy little reusable pilot That's cup. My reusable pilot cup. I, at least for I'm today. I'm fond of hot tea, and I don't care much for coffee. I know that seems weird being a truck driver and not really caring much for coffee. Actually, coffee doesn't like me. Yeah. It seems like every time I drink coffee, I can drink it for about a week, and then my stomach gets all tore up. So I don't drink it. So I think it has something to do with gluten. <laughs> um, for certain yeah because some coffee does have that in it you have to be careful well the truck didn't blow up that's a good plus you're gonna stay here for three minutes and talk to the camera nope all right we'll i'll just cut it all right sounds good hold on four three two one let's see what we got folks all righty here's the first beverage i can fill the cups for them how warm is warm? Is it hot warm? Well, you can see the steam coming off from it. I don't well, know if you can see the steam or not. I don't think we can see that. See I can't steam. see it through. Can you see the steam there? No. I can see the steam. Well, anyway, it's steaming. <laughs> we cannot see the steam. It looks like a cup of so water. I'm going to get my tea out here. Make sure nothing, nothing in falls the cover down. doesn't fall down and kill me. Oh, I, I moved it. It's on the other side. Where's it at? It's up here. My tea. I use Twinnings Irish breakfast tea. When you can find it. When I can find it. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. And I use an artificial sweetener called. <laughs> Is this our our make do pure... cooking on the truck this yes. weekend? <laughs> It's making tea on the truck. <laughs> making tea on the truck in our That's newly convection microwave oven. Yeah. Which, by the way, we're going to turn the oven on and see what yeah, we Yeah, we're going to turn the oven on, make sure it works. Yeah. Make sure it gets warm. So I'll put my two artificial sweeteners in there. And, and let your tea brew while we're doing the other stuff. It does it not brew. Tea does not brew. Well, whatever it does. Tea, tea sits. steeps. Steeps? It steeps. How do you spell that? S T E E P S. Steeps. Steeps. I think it might be. A, it might have an A in it. I don't know. I'm a horrible speller. That's why I ask you if you can no, spell it. She does that on purpose. Thank you. 
I'm sure she sat around all week thinking, huh, how can I embarrass Jim? I know, let's try to have him spell something. So let's have his spelling bee on the video recording yes. now. Just remember, honey. I know, paybacks. I know. Yes. So sorry. I apologize <laughs> also, ahead of time. And also remember, I'm the one that edits the videos. This is true. So you never look dumb, will ya? No matter how many times I, I try. So anyway, we're going to set Nothing this aside cut. for a little while. That'll steep for about five minutes. Okay, Mr. T. What's what's the T word for high pollutant tea people? Royalty? <laughs> <laughs> what idea? I don't know. Well, you know, you got the, I guess the baristas or whatever, they do the same. They do tea, right? Maybe they're taristas. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there is a such a thing. I would assume it's sort of the, I mean, Starbucks has tea. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't go and there. You, and, you know, for a person who doesn't drink coffee, I came up with that word. That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know if it's the right word. <laughs> Make it up words. <laughs> Let's make up words and have Jim spell them. You're the one who said steeps. Did All you right. make that word up? I did not. That's what it's called. <laughs> Honestly, I will show you. It's on the package. It is on the package, folks. Not that you can read it because you're going to need your bifocals if you want to read it. Or your reading glasses in my case. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have any directions. Oh, what a ripoff. Well, it steeps. Steep right here. Right there. Steep time. S T E E. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Can you read that? No, wait. I gotta get closer. Get it closer. I can't see. It's close enough. Steep. Oh, there. People who don't need glasses probably could read that. Yeah, I noticed I did correctly <laughs> spell that. Okay. Enough of that. Uh, <laughs> so now you can add in the video. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna turn on the convection oven. I'm gonna turn it on for just a minute to make sure it gets warm. Okay, we hit convection. Yeah, you hit convection first. And then at the temperature. So we're gonna just hit 400. 400, and then you hit start. No, you put in the time. No, you do not. You hit start, it preheats, and then you put the time in. Okay. You can tell who does the cooking and who does not. I edit video <laughs> and occasionally drive the truck. And it'll usually take quite some time for this. So here we'll go to the next little bar. Well, I'm hoping that little bar up there jumps up because it's got like a, a, a graph right, yeah. here that right will there. tell you when it gets warm. And of course, the one in our other truck did not work. So it jumped around. You see that blinking bar? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's see if I get closer. There. That little blinking bar. So when it gets warmer, there'll be blinky, more blinky bars. At least on the other one it was. I'm assuming this one's pretty much the same. Probably should be the same one. So, so we'll let that preheat for a little bit. And we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. So we just wanted to show you, it's starting to get warm. If I open the door, hey, it's warm in there. And I can see steam, but you can't see So anyway, we'll, we'll let turn it go this ahead and heat up. Oh, look, two bars. So we're gonna let that heat. And then I'm going to sort of, Judy and I are going to talk to you for just a little bit, tell you a little bit about how we went through this process and what happened. And so just hold on a second while I set this down. So looks like we have ourselves a new microwave. Uh, glad that uh, came to an end happily. Yes, and now we get to cook. Now we get to cook. Now well, we can warm things up again. Yes, yeah, so we can have hot food, which is really a plus and a convenience in a truck. <laughs> Because we would go through and we'd fix all the food for the weekend, and then we didn't have any way to warm it up this last week. Uh, so, yep, a week's about it. Well, if we planned on it, we would have been better off, but we didn't, hadn't really planned on it. Right. So anyway, that uh, particular microwave was made by Franklin Chef, the old one that I took out. Well, Franklin Chef apparently went out of business a couple of years ago, and so this uh, truck sleeper is a 2015. So in those uh, five years, four years. Uh, you know, they went out of business, and so we can't find a Franklin Chef microwave anymore. So I had to dig around online. You know, I was looking, and, and uh, that uh, opening up there is not too much bigger than the microwave. So we had to basically get a microwave the same dimensions. I found a couple online that I thought would work. They might have been a half an inch longer, half inch higher or something, and I just wasn't really for sure. And I stumbled upon this website, and it's called Rec Pro. It's a company out of Indiana. Uh, and located, you'll try to put it in the description. Yeah, I will. I will definitely put a link in the description below to their website. 
Uh, they apparently sell just about everything that you can imagine, the appliances, anything to do with RVs. So anyway, uh, I just happened to see this. This looks like it's a company branded microwave. It actually says Rec Pro on it. So I'm not for sure. Well, it says High Point on it too. High Point? Yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. So High Point. Um, it's a so, high point model. I don't know what that is. But. <laughs> I don't know if that's the brand or what, but that's what they sent us. Uh, I also, I'll grab the the item number off the box. I know quite a few of you probably have double A sleepers or, you know, you may eventually end up in a truck with a double A sleeper. Or an RV for who knows. Yeah. Or an RV for, yeah. Uh, this is basically a, uh, meant to be a built-in microwave. It's got a plate on the bottom. It doesn't really have feet. So you really wouldn't want to use this in your house. It's just like a counter. I suppose you could, but... You know, it's really not made for that. Uh, in this particular model, the uh, trim kit actually came with it, but I wanted to see if it was the same dimension, so I used the old trim kit. So I have a brand new trim kit in a box. Um, so uh, I'll just take the that. brand new trim kit with a non functioning old, old um, convection oven. Right. We'll just so. put that on Craigslist. I'm sure <laughs> someone will just get for <laughs> snap that up. Uh, so that's been our experience. Uh, we, I was just really impressed with the company. Uh, went to their website. You know, sometimes you never know what you're going to run into, but they basically said uh, free shipping, uh, over like ninety nine dollars. I forget. And so this was free shipping. And the other thing is the other microwaves on some of the other websites I were looking at, they were wanting four hundred dollars for these, and that's sort of what we had figured we were going to pay. Uh, I was really shocked. Uh, this one's two ninety nine or two sixty nine, so I paid two sixty nine for the microwave. Free shipping. It actually got here in a day. I ordered it. If you order it before eleven o'clock, it's say sh same day shipping. So I ordered it on Wednesday. Uh, it shipped out Thursday and it arrived here Friday evening. Uh, so that was great. Of course, now they are over in Indiana, and it's only probably 150 miles from us. Of course, uh, we all know how the logistics of some of that works. You right. Know? Even though they're just in Indiana, who knows? You know, they may have to take a trip to Atlanta or something yeah. before they come. Uh, here. But it uh, showed up FedEx ground, um, delivered right here to our driveway, and we live out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so we were very happy with. We that. were not here when it came, but I would have loved to have seen the face. When they pulled in and saw another FedEx truck sitting yeah. in the driveway. Like there's and going, this huge really? FedEx truck sitting in the yard. And they're probably wondering, what's going on? <laughs> and I'm sure they pulled up in a little Sprinter van and were just like, okay, did they beat me here? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we get strange looks sometimes. The last time we were home as we were leaving, uh, I had ordered some stuff from Amazon. And actually, the UPS guy showed up in you know the UPS truck. And as we were literally backing out of the driveway... He shows up, and so I get out and walk over to him. And he didn't really want to hand me the package. I'm like, it's okay, I live here. <laughs> yeah, oh, UPS guy handing a package off to like, a FedEx sort of gave me a weird look. Of course, we were in uniform because we were headed out to yeah. pick up. And, you know, um, was... So he just gave me this weird look, and I'm like, it's, I live here. My wife and I, we drive all over the country. I said, I ordered it. He's like, okay. So I don't know if you believe me or not. <laughs> well, so. he was just going to drop it on the front doorstep anyway, but, you know, right. he's so probably trying to I think it sort of took him by surprise. So anyway, we've got the microwave in. It's actually convection, whatever that's doing. Oh, yep, it's ready. Did you hear that beep? That means it's hit 400 degrees and whatever time it amount took us. Probably about five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Five or, so yeah, we are ready. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do now. We don't now, have any to cook, to cook at 400 degrees, but we no. got it. We got it running. So uh, we're going to take the old microwave out, put it in the garage, maybe for spare parts or, <laughs> or Craigslist. Uh, and then uh, we got to get our stuff together. We got to get out of here. We have yep. a load that picks up tomorrow in Minneapolis ish area. I don't think it is actually Minneapolis. It's no, some it's not. around there. Um, and so it's 700 and some miles that we have to go deadhead. The load paid well enough for us to go do that. Um, you know, I know some folks won't deadhead that far, but, you know, we will. It pays our rate and above. It actually pays really well. So we're going to run up there and get that load and then off to Missouri. And then we'll see. We don't have anything. We don't have a load after that yet. So and then we'll see what uh, we, get. we will be home hopefully Friday uh, is when we're planning on coming home. Uh, we have another family get together this weekend. Yep. And you have an eye appointment on Friday. Uh, I have an eye appointment on Friday. So or a recheck or whatever. Glasses looked at to make sure they're still working and then my eyes are still working. So I think they are. And that's another whole blog post is scheduling appointments while you're out on the road is so much fun. But we're very thankful that we've got local 
doctors that are really willing to work with us when right. things pop up. So, so if you like videos like this and like to see how you replace microwaves and trucks, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the little notification bell. Ring. Thank you, visual aids. Oh, thank you, audio aid. Uh, and we <laughs> that, by the way, meant that we did not set the timer or open the door, so it shut off. All right. So, so it's done. It's done, and so are we. So we'll see you in the next video. So long.